Winter is quickly setting in, and the nights are getting cold. It's becoming more and more important all the time to secure energy, to heat the house. And with the dregs running low, and propane costs at an all-time high, skyrocketing inflation, it is more important than ever for me to get some supplemental heat in the house. So off to the junkyard I go. And there lies an old baseboard heater that's been sitting there for years. I have an idea. What if I was to take this baseboard heater and hook it directly to the PV panels? Straight DC current. Do you guys think it would operate an AC heater? Now of course I would run my PV panels in series. I have six panels and I've already checked them. And six of them hooked in series make 205 volts. This is a 220 heater. It would be wired directly from my panels to the heater itself. Straight DC. I'm using number 12 multi-strand wire, a red and a black, a positive and a negative. No charge controller in between. No nothing, just a direct run straight to the heater. It's about as simple as you can get. Straight from my heater to the panels. Now remember, I purchased these panels at a pretty reasonable price. In fact, I purchased 50 of them and I'm trying to find places to put them and for things to use them. So why not use them just for heat? Don't worry, I'm going to put another screw in this panel. Like everything, it was used, but it just happened to be perfect for what I'm using it for. With two 15 amp fuses, it should work just fine. The panels are rated at 7 amps at 35 open volts. And I'm using number 12 wire. So 15 amp fuse should be just fine. Soldering these little solar connectors was tricky in the wind. I had a tiny little pencil torch that kept getting blown out. Let's not forget the flux. This little pencil torch works great inside, but as soon as you try and use it outdoor in the slightest of wind, it continually blows out. So it was an exercise in patience just to get some solder in there, but I managed. And then you just simply slip on the connect connector, tighten them down, and you have a watertight connection just like that. Simple as can be, easy peasy. I'm making one final check here to see if the polarity is correct and if I've got all the panels hooked up correctly and I do. I'll make my final connection after the heater is connected. This kind of voltage can kill you. This is not low voltage DC, this is now high voltage DC and it must be exercised with all of the cautions of a standard 220 circuit. And yes, I know, I need a strain relief here. And it will eventually get one. And I will eventually get some conduit and put the wire in the pipe outside as well. But this is just how I do things. This is how one must do things when they don't have a lot of money. And they need to just get something done. You use what you have and you just make things work. Making the final connection. Turn the box on, 
Let's go see what happens. And there is heat. This heater was only 750 watts, so it's not like it ran us out of the house. But you could feel it. It took about 15 minutes for it to warm up good. But then the heat really began to crank out of there fairly decently. It, it, I was very pleased with the results. And so was my puppy. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you would, please hit that thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, well, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.